Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Double D. Today, I'm gonna make this guitar go faster. Yeah, right, uh, well, wouldn't, wouldn't that be great? Um, actually, all I'm gonna really do is put some stickers on it. I got on Amazon a couple of packs of stickers. First off, check out the logo. Uh, Double D, right? Hey, that's pretty cool. So I figured I'd have to buy at least one or two sets of these from these guys. I got some racing stripe stickers from Design Divil. What I didn't realize when I first ordered them was that in a pack for, I think it was like $10.99 or $11.99, you actually get two sets and they're pretty long. Um, I saw a couple of other sets that it just didn't seem like uh, they were very long. And so with, with these Design Devil ones, you get some, you get a couple of options. You can run it this way, which is how I'm going to end up doing it on this guitar. This is my pink champagne strat. In some lights, it's got that gold around the borders, and then it'll just shift right over to a nice gold color. And I figured this gold stripe would kind of look really cool, especially when it's in the light against the purple, like that. And then I guess when it goes off to the gold, it'll just kind of blend in. I don't know. We'll see. They're vinyl stickers, you know, so they are what they are. It's this is a cheap mod, you know, like literally you get two of these things You know for 12 bucks. I got the white ones as well And I already put one one set of the white ones on my seafoam green EG I see a lot of people wrap the whole they want to get their money's worth out of the sticker and they wrap it around here and then it stops here and It stops like on the back. I, I kind of did this just a little bit differently as you can see this thing's beat up so I'm I don't care too much if the sticker kind of starts to fall off a little bit. I would imagine if you were finishing a guitar, you could put this under your clear coat or your poly or whatever it is you're going to do and then just build up some good coats over it. You know, you feel it. It's vinyl sticker. It is what it is. But I made one little mistake. I actually ripped the paper instead of using scissors. And so I did just a little bit of backing paper right under there. So I want to kind of go through a couple of little tips and tricks to get this on and looking reasonably decent, you know, um, fun, it's fun mod. That's all it is. Not really going to go faster. So a couple things you got to do before you adhere this, you want to get yourself some cleaning stuff. I got a, a nice clean rag and, um, it's just some guitar cleaner that's almost empty, like literally almost empty. Just make sure your area where you're going to apply it is nice and clean. I wouldn't use these on like a, you know, an old Strat, anything with nitro, nitrocellulose. I mean, I would think that this probably would not be good for it. I, I would think, you know, leave some marks, something like that. A couple other things you'll need, scissors, black pen. You're also going to want like some sort of credit card or squeegee of some sort. The thinner, you know, not real, not real heavy duty. And then some... Uh, painter's tape or masking tape, something that doesn't really stick to heavy duty. Pull this off just so that it's not in the way. The only real bummer about these is they come a folded envelope, so there's a little fold there, but that's really not that big of a deal. The fold doesn't translate to the vinyl. Take a pick, like on a hard surface. You want to kind of just scrape the sticker onto the backing paper a little bit more or onto the the backing release plastic you know onto this top so that it gets I like I want to get those bubbles out of there just so that you're not fiddling with it too much and you get it to stay nice and straight so I'm just taking a pick and kind of going over the whole thing kind of getting it to sit evenly and the plastic there's a plastic coat on it here and that's what it's going to kind of adhere to. You see how I'm pulling back the plastic and the sticker is kind of coming with it. That's what I'm trying to get to happen right now. So I want to make sure that the sticker is going along with the plastic. Once I get it into position on the guitar, it'll be a lot easier. But that's basically my goal right now. To try to just make sure that this, yeah, now it's all kind of coming up together. So that my first little pull there is like that. Real easy. This thing just doesn't want to focus. So the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim some of this excess. I just, I like having very little extra stuff to work with. I'm 
a little something, masking tape, something like that. So we're gonna, gonna use this to kind of hold the sticker in place once we decide where we want it to be exactly located. I want it to go through that contour, that uh, the armrest area. And let's see how much of it I can save, just in case I have. I have another guitar I could use some of it on. Because, you know, you don't have to do a racing stripe like that. You could do, like, you could do it right down here at the end of the strings. Ooh, that would look really cool right there on this one. You know, you could take off, uh, take off the strings. And if you have just a plain pick guard, you could cut it right around the pickups and, and have the racing stripe go down the middle. You could do it like that, you know, kind of, this definitely gives you enough to do like a whole body. I could probably even do my bass, I bet. Bass, 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 bass. I don't want to have too much of an overlap around the, the curve there. I want, I want to kind of just trim it right to there. Let me make sure I have enough room here. I'm going to get my tape just real soft so it doesn't stick to my finish. Just because there's a little anchor. You want to tape it down on both sides there like that. I'm probably using too much tape because I want to be able to easily lift up one side and then lift up the other side. I'll show you why. Yeah, I'll pull that back just a little bit. So now I have it in position like this. Do Try to come in right underneath, right underneath where this, where my strap would be, strap button. I'll take my Sharpie and kind of just get that spot right where the contour starts, right where the wraparound kind of starts right there. I don't want to, I don't want to have too much of it just flapping around the back or resting on the contour. I want to try to stop right at the contour. And then draw a couple little straight lines right there. Leave this in position now. And then cut at that angle. The worst scissors ever. All right, so now I have taken off a little bit that I can put out of the way and then that'll lay there. Same kind of thing, you want to make sure that we're still sticking pretty nicely to the top here. Yeah, sure are. Yeah, okay, so looking good there. Now I'm going to pretty much do the same thing over on this side. I'm going to figure out where it's going to wrap around. See, there's that fold that I was talking about. So right about there on the fold. And I'm going to put a little mark right there. And over to here, try to keep it in line, you know, don't pull it, don't stretch it, right over to here. And then I can take my scissors and cut that line. There we go. Save that. Yeah, so this is how much I have left. Man, I have like almost enough to do. Yeah, I have enough to do a second one, just not quite that full kind of wrap. You know, I could do a second one right there, or I could just put this on another guitar. Ooh, maybe this guy right here. Maybe I'll do that. Right under there. Ooh, that'll look good. That'll look good. So. You know, like I said, it's a vinyl sticker. It's not going to last forever, and it's really just something fun. Um, I'm sure my arm's going to kind of wear it off, maybe wear off the color. My Royal Farms rewards card. Don't worry, I've taped off my code. You will not get my royalty points. That fried chicken is mine. Forget about it, all right? Forget it. So what I'm going to do... Same kind of thing here. I'm going to pull the plastic up. Uh, make sure that my stickers are coming with the plastic. I have the paper on the guitar. I'm going to pull that plastic back. Grab your scissors. 
cut. Wrap it around. And so you got to kind of play with it a little bit to get those bubbles out. So I like to get it on there real good. And then gently pull that plastic back. I can already see I'm going to need to kind of work some of that air out of it. Work to the side. Work the air out to the side there. I'm trying to work like I had a little bubble right there in the middle. I think I have to pull this one up. Yep, I'm going to have to pull this up a little bit with my nail, which of course now it will never lay straight. So I'm going to grab it with the card. The edge of the card, kind of pull it up to that bump. Let's see if I can get this bump out of here. It'd be a lot easier to do this if I kept it on the table. Once you start to try to re-adhere this stuff, once you pull it up a little bit, man, the adhesive art just starts to get a little, little funky. So really try your best to avoid picking it up and moving it around once you get it down there. This nice little flexible card this thin card that i have just like a rewards card is easy easy to work with because it you can kind of manipulate it now since we've kind of got it adhered i can pull this tape off get that out of the way i can pull this back flat back pull the white one off take my card And as I'm pulling that piece of paper off, use the card to use the card to lay it flat. Work any bubbles out as you're going. Do your best to do that while it's while it's right here, still in position. You know, get that thing out of there. Use your fingers around the the. The contour of the guitar kind of work your way out instead of using the card I don't want to rip it I'm gonna use my fingers to kind of try to push that air out of there I think I already that one spot is probably a little too far gone got just a little bit of air bubbling right up in there but There she is now. She's on. She my go fast guitar. My Strat GT. It's got racing stripes now. It's fun. I like the way the gold and the the gold and the the purple. The the way that this all. I think I picked the right thing. I like the way it looks with this guitar. Yeah, it's cool. I'm happy. Final step will be putting this thing back on. It kind of disappears into the light as as you as you move it with this pink sh color shift. It really stands out, and then it blends into the gold. You know that's cool. Oh, I love that. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, design devil. You can do it. Seriously, <laughs> it's so easy. Um, and if you really wanted, you know, do a clear coat. If if you were working on a guitar, do this over your paint job and then clear coat it in. They got all sorts of colors. They got red, blue, um, black, white. I think they had yellow. You know, when it's said and done, those look pretty cool. I like that. And I mean, literally, if I wasn't filming, it took me like five minutes to do this one at the most. If I wasn't filming and messing around trying to explain it, I probably would have been done with this a lot quicker. Just be careful around the contours. You know, you get a little bit of... You get a little bit of bubbling. It's a little tough to work with. Design Dibble. I bought them. They didn't send them to me. Nobody's paying me to do this. I'm just having some fun. And hopefully you had a little fun watching me. Uh, and you have a little fun maybe doing the same thing. I'm going to put this on. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Yeah, a little, just a little bit of buckling. 
a little bit of buckling, a little, a little air bubble I could just rub out real quick on the top. Rub it to the open area if you do. Rub it like out towards the stripe. You're just trying to push the air out of from underneath there. But man, these feel like they stay down really well. I mean, yeah, obviously you can feel it, but they feel like they stay down real well. Guitar, go fast. Thanks you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Sometimes mods get a little intense and sometimes they don't. I like it when they're not.